The energy management information system is the foundation of all successful strategic energy reduction programs. This standard RTS EMIS solution can be deployed across all plants and sites, regardless of underlying production and IT systems. At this point, we'll get into some of the features and benefits of the system. This initial screen enables a corporate multi-plant energy performance overview at a glance. Each facility has a tricolor energy KPI status indication, green, yellow, red, based on any business formula result from plant real-time information. Things like total plant energy consumption, or total energy peak demand, or total energy cost per ton of production. Clicking on any of the specific plant locations will bring in the below graphical KPI details. In this case, total energy cost per production volume. This one level drill down can be set to display whatever detailed KPI parameters the end user feels are best suited for their overview needs. Once again, more costing detail. Of course, the costing information is based on the dynamics of TOU, or time of use, or any procurement or utility defined costing model. The following screen displays the end user's manufacturing overview with energy and critical energy related process parameters. This enables quick identification of energy specific anomalies within the manufacturing process. Any energy meter, steam, compressed air, natural gas, electricity, diesel, propane, and relevant process data can be displayed on this overview. From this overview, energy usage can be visualized via trending and or reported on based on energy versus process parameter, energy versus a production SKU. Energy analysis comparisons and cost allocations can be viewed based on production shifts, lines of business, departments, significant assets, day, week, or weekend. This following example is a view of the asset energy monitoring screen. This representation shows a pictorial of the asset, displays status of energy sources and main process parameters for that asset. Notice the PM notification button on this view. This enables SAP PM and EAM, Enterprise Asset Management, to instantly receive critical notifications to take immediate actions when there is an anomaly. Upon clicking on the PM notification button, we get a automatically populated detail screen with asset, operator, and condition information as well a general comment field for reporting specifics and details, all information is transferred to SAP PM and a shift report. The general comment screen is date and time stamped, as well as there's functionality for reporting and having a summary review of all the chronological entries that have been made. The next screen shows detailed granular multivariable data and enables us to do analysis on that data. Data such as energy to energy, uh, energy to process parameters. Energy to energy would be very useful in looking at the efficiencies of a boiler or a compressor, whereby we can look at natural gas to steam conversion or electricity to compressed air. We select the data source, the specific variables, the time periods, and generate a graphical and tabular result from the real-time query. Exportable to Excel, of course. The next screen is uh, SPC visualization of energy with automatic limits generation, upper limits, lower limits. Um, MII has a complete set of SPC tools, uh, X-bar and range, X-bar and sigma, median, uh, etc. This enables us to be able to uh, analyze uh, data in the past to really address any anomalies that may have occurred. The following screen is a very important one. It's the pinnacle component of plant and operator empowerment to energy reduction. The best way to empower people is to give them the knowledge. This cumulative summation screen, or QSUM, <coughs> in essence provides a running total of energy used relative to the specific energy allocated to a specific process. The objective is to have the QSUM value equal zero over the time period that the person is accountable for. QSUM analytics is available for all energy sources and all meters. 
So an example would be if we have so many gallons of water that we're allowed to use throughout the production eight hour time period, we may use more or less at different periods, but we want to have a dynamic representation of that usage and where we stand at any point in time relative to the end at the eight hour shift so that we can adjust the process or our actions so that we end up using no more uh, and hopefully less than the energy we've been allocated or in the example water. The, um, the next screen displays linear regression analysis. By plotting a series of energy usage parameters with tonnage of production to be correlated, it enables us to obtain a quick identification of energy anomalies. We can obtain energy target baselines dependent on production volume, and a multitude of independent parameters may be selected for the regression analysis. The following screens are part of the report writer. Reports can be set for hourly, daily, weekly. Um, reports are granular, uh, or reports use granular information to the 15 minute sample rate of the actual energy source. QSUM in the report is the important tell all factor to the performance leading to energy reductions. As well, a full complement of system configuration utilities for the composite application, configuration of meters. Uh, production volume configuration, uh, configuration of dynamic energy target to production volume or product formulas can be entered. This enables the energy target to be dynamically self-adjusting based on production volumes or different SKUs that we may be running. As well, uh, energy costing screens uh, can be updated via SAP ERP or manual updates if, uh, if selected. Alarm and email alerting setup can be uh, based on percentage value or a threshold um, whereby if we exceed those limits, the email alert goes out. Email alerts also can contain dynamic information from the anomaly so that it gives the recipient the ability to have an awareness of the specifics to the problem. As well, uh, configuration screens for entering in degree days for total energy consumption, uh, target adjustment. So in many cases, the outside temperature uh, may have an impact on the process energy consumption. Uh, this can be uh, manually inputted or preferably through uh, various temperature sensors around the building or can be obtained via the internet um, from a standard website providing degree day information. Also, is uh, configuration for email setup, for uh, alerts and recipients, um, all within the composite application. You can now see why the energy management information system is the foundation of a successful energy reduction program. With its empowering QSUM visualization and reporting, its 15 minute granular meter data reading, helping to avoid peak demand charges, and of course, benchmarking through regression analysis, whereby we can see real uh, typical targets of energy consumption uh, based on historical data. The RTS Consulting EMIS on SAP MII brings a holistic energy reduction solution that validates the energy executive strategy. Thank you for your time. Any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.